Hello friends, today I will show you the most simple way to connect our 6 wire stepper motor to 4 wire driver for stepper motors. It's very simple to make it and now I will show you how to do this in just a couple of minutes. Firstly, we should draw a little schematic to show you how this stepper motor is constructed. Let's say this is our stepper motor. We have a winding here with a common pin and pins from the beginning to the end of this winding. And here is another winding with common pin and another two pins from the beginning to the end. This makes it a six wire stepper motor with two pairs of pins for the windings and two common pins. Now I will show you how to determine which wire is which pin and which pins we should ignore to make it run with this four wire connector and this four wire stepper motor driver. I will use my multimeter in the function of resistance to measure which pins correspond to which windings and this way we know how to connect it to the driver. Here is my stepper motor with six wires. And I know that the producer of these stepper motors, mostly in any stepper motor, makes it from left to right, first pair for the first winding, the second pair for the second winding, and the other two cables, the other two pins correspondingly, for the common pins of those two pair of windings. To prove this theory, I will measure with the multimeter the first two pins which will correspond to the first winding and this will show me 4.9 ohms of resistance for the first winding and I will write that down first 4.9 ohms. Secondly, I will measure the second pair, the yellow and the pink cable this should point me roughly the same 4.9 ohms of resistance for the second wire for the second winding excuse me now i know that the first two pairs are my windings and these two cables the black and the white cable are the common pins of those two windings to prove this theory again i will measure between the white cable and some of the two pairs it should show me the half of this measurement I will measure between the white cable and the green cable you can see it shows 2.4 ohms of resistance now I know that the white cable is the common pin of the first winding to prove again my theory I will measure between the black wire and the pink or the yellow wire and it should show me again 2.4 ohms of resistance let's say I will measure between black and pink here I have 2.4 ohms of resistance so when I'm connecting these cables I will simply ignore these common pins for my connection and I will use only these four cables and this I will just isolate from the schematic. Here I have another stepper motor taken from old printing device which has six wires also but in different colors. I already pre-cut the connector and I know that red and yellow are for my first winding and blue and orange are for my second winding. These cables I will use to test my theory in this video. So for the purpose of this experiment, I will tie them right here to know that this is my first winding. And my second winding is blue and orange, blue and orange. I will tie them again. So I know this is my second winding. Those two cables I will simply ignore for my experiment. I will use this connector to connect these four wires and test this theory for driving this six wire stepper motor with my four wire driver. For the first winding I will use the first two cables, black and uh, red here, but it doesn't matter the color, I just need 
to make it the same as the windings for the stepper motor in the same order like the connector for my driver. I will use some isolating tape just to make this experiment but if you want to use the stepper motor with this driver make sure to tie the cables and even better to solder them. Now everything is connected as the schematic and now we will connect it to the driver and test if it's going to work or not. I will connect the 5 volt power to the driver and the 4 wire connector and I will just turn my power supply on. Let's see if this is going to actually work. You can see the stepper motor is running pretty good right now. Now I am able to use my stepper motor in both directions using this cheap stepper motor driver. So friends, this is the way to connect your 6 wire stepper motor to your 4 wire driver and actually use it the right way.